Hi guys, so today I'm going to bring you along to one of my productive reset days and I'll be showing you what I normally do on the weekends after a long week of my 9 to 5 job. The weekend is always meant for me to relax and distress a bit, so I always wake up without an alarm on these kind of days. Mm, I'm not really a morning person and it feels just so nice to not be forced to wake up with the annoying iPhone alarm. So after waking up, I'll go to the bathroom to wash up a bit, mainly washing my face and brushing my teeth. And after that, I'll drink a cup of water and take my daily vitamin tablets. Later on, after my body is hydrated, it's time to do my morning skincare routine. My skincare routine is not like the complicated 10-step skincare routine. It's very simple. I normally just use three types of products where I start off with a toner and then I'll proceed to using a serum and lastly a moisturizer. All of my products are from Kiehl's because I really like how light the products are on my face and it's perfect for someone with oily skin like me. So after my skincare routine, I brushed my hair a bit to straighten out my hair and did a half updo with this pearl clip. And I really like how cute it looks on me. After feeling cute with my hairstyle, I made myself some hot Milo. It's a very delicious chocolate drink that I love since I was a little kid. And then while waiting for my drink to get a little bit colder, I opened up my bullet journal and took a look at my to-do list for today. So for today, I'll be cleaning up my room a bit and I'll be heading out on a terrarium date with my boyfriend. But before all that, let's watch some YouTube videos and enjoy my hot chocolate. And by the way, if you know me, you know that Lin is one of my favorite YouTubers and watching her videos always brightens up my day. And now, since my day is all brightened up, we are prepared to do some chores. I'm starting with sweeping the floor and I'm using this kind of broom that allows me to attach this tin sheet of floor wipe instead of the traditional broom. My mom got me this broom and it's very efficient in sweeping strands of hair and dust because they stick onto the floor wipe. And will you just look at the amount of hair and dust this floor wipe has collected? So well, after sweeping the floor, it's time to wipe the floor. But first, I'm making this soapy water for the mop. And that's me mopping every little corner of the room to make sure that the floor is sparkly clean. Okay, the next item on my to-do list is changing the bed sheet. So I was kindly gifted a bedding set from Everlasting Fabric and I would just like to thank them for kindly gifting me this lovely bedding set. The one that I chose is the minimal jacquard bedding set that is cream white in color. I chose this color because it matches the white and wood aesthetic of my room. And in this set, there is a bed sheet, a duvet cover, and two pillowcases. So for a new bedding set like this, it is recommended to wash the bedding set on a cold gentle setting for 15 minutes and air drying it if possible. So the footage of me unboxing the bedding set was filmed a day before I filmed this reset vlog so that the bedding set dries in time for me to film on the next day. And thank god the day before it was a sunny day and the bed sheet, duvet cover and pillowcases are all dried the next day. So coming back, here's me taking out the original bed sheet, duvet cover and pillowcases and throwing all of them into the washing machine. And this is me putting on the new bed sheet from Everlasting Fabric and spraying it with some Febreze to make it smell nice. 
and then I stuff my pillows into the pillowcases and there's Sharky, my shark plushie from IKEA and I also decided to add some fairy lights so that the room will look more cozy at night and lastly, I'm making sure my duvet is spread evenly and neatly over the bed and there we have it, a very aesthetic looking and clean bed Alright, so I'm sweating a bit right now after all the commotion with changing the bed sheet, but we still have one last chore on my to-do list and it's organizing the desk. So I'll start by taking away the stuffs that are on my desk and I'll wipe the desk with a wet tissue. And after the surface is dried, I put my bamboo storage organizer with all my Uhuhu markers on the far right corner of the desk and just did some minor changes to the arrangements of my desk decor and pen holders. And da da da, let's welcome a new member to the desk. So I was kindly gifted two speakers from Muzen and I would just like to thank them for being so kind to give not one but two speakers. I always see this speaker brand while I was scrolling Instagram and I just can't believe that they reach out to me and offer to send over their products. So this one is the Line Friends portable speaker. It comes in this super cute box, really loving the packaging and oh my god, the speaker is just the cutest. So it's a FM radio and Bluetooth speaker, so you can either connect it to your devices via Bluetooth or you can just tune in for the radio. And it also comes with this cute brown bear with a sleeping mask and a sleeping duck on its back. And now I'll just be placing my speaker over here so I can do work while listening to some music. Oh yeah, I did mention that they gave me two speakers and the other one over here is the OTR wood portable speaker. It comes in this very lovely leather bag and the features are the same as the previous speaker. And yeah, since I have one on my desk, I decided to put this one on the bedside table. And finally, the chores are all done and I'm so sweaty right now so it's time to take a shower before I go out on my date with my boyfriend. This is what I'm going to be wearing for our date and we're going on a terrarium workshop date at Mossarium, which is the name of the shop. My boyfriend really loves plants and we've been planning this date for the longest time ever. So it started off with the staff giving us a tray of materials and equipments that are needed to build our very own terrarium. Then our instructor came and briefed us about terrariums and how to take care of them. And here are some footages of me and my boyfriend making our terrariums. We started off by putting on two layers of small rocks with a spatula. Not a very difficult task and then we moved on to putting in the soil. Also not a very difficult task. And then our instructor said that we can go over here and pick out some wood and rocks that we like to put in our terrarium. And that's me trying to arrange the rocks and constantly asking my boyfriend, does this look nice? And he will be like, yes, how about mine? And after one and a half hour, we are 70% done with our terrarium. And now the final step is to add a little figure inside the terrarium and mine is definitely a Totoro because I'm a huge Studio Ghibli fan and my boyfriend chose a Tori gate and tada, here is our masterpiece and the both of us really enjoy our date. So after almost 3 hours of the workshop, it was almost dinner time and we just had Japanese food for dinner. So after a long day of doing chores and spending the afternoon at the workshop, it's time to settle down and do some self-care. In my opinion, it's important to practice self-love and just show yourself some love. The world is already very harsh to us, so why don't we just be kinder to ourselves and love ourselves a little bit more. So for my self-care routine, I like to just lay down on my bed and enjoy a movie or a K-drama or anime with my fairy lights and also with my Muji diffuser on. I think 
as I slowly become an adult, I realize that the joy lies within the smallest things in our life. Like seeing the room being clean makes me happy. Like going out to a terrarium workshop makes me happy. And being in my room enjoying a movie makes me happy too. So in the end, today has been a very productive and also happy day and it's time to be prepared for another day of work tomorrow. So thank you everyone for joining me in today's vlog. Good night and I'll see you guys in the next video.